Alright, so today what I'm going to be working on is the brackets to install the countertop to the uh, cabinet in the van. And so I have some angle aluminum. It's an inch and a half by an inch and a half, cut about three inches long. And I set up a little jig on my drill press to punch holes so I can attach to the uh, cabinet itself. And then once the countertop is sitting on top, we'll just go ahead and fasten those to that. Instead of using a bunch of pocket holes, uh, I think this will be easier. And we'll do that around the perimeter of the top. And then also, this is what I'll probably use to attach it to the floor for the base. We'll just go ahead and slide that up to the, cow, uh, to the cabinet. And then we'll attach it. And then we'll attach it to the floor. Uh, that way, if I ever have to remove it, it's going to be a simple process. So, I've got a bunch of these. I don't know if we'll use them all. But uh, we're going to go ahead and start drilling these, get them all ready put them on the cabinet, set the counter in place and see if it works. Let's do it! Alright, pretty simple setup. A couple of sticks here and we're a little rounded corner because our angle iron is, or angle aluminum is, got a round uh, corner on the inside and so I set this up, line it up on the first mark, drill my hole, slide it over on the second, drill my hole, flip it around, do the same thing, slide it over, do the same thing, and then I'll end up with a nice piece, just like so. All right, let's do it. And just a quick view of the van here in all its glory. Yeah, starting to look pretty nice. It's pretty filthy right now. Floor's dirty, dust everywhere, wood chips, shavings. I'm gonna have to hire myself a maid. All right, onward. All right, so here is where we are at. I took the uh, little brackets that I made and went ahead and installed those in a couple of strategic places here. So when we set the countertop on there, we have something to attach to. And then for this side, for this little sliver that's going to go across here, I put some pocket holes. This is the only place that I have pocket holes and everything else has brackets. So. Now we just need to uh, set the countertop on there. We can get it fastened on and uh, test fit our sink and probably our stove because we're going to need to know where we need to do a quick cutout. And then before I move this into place and attach it to the floor, I need to finish out my door. So I'm going to take this off, cut a piece of quarter inch ply on there and also carpet that and then reinstall it. And also, I still have a threshold that I've got to install. So that is where we are at. So let's go ahead and get that countertop on there and uh, fasten down. I'm looking forward to that. All right, now we're going to put the uh, countertop on. Kind of get in a little bit of a position. We'll have to make sure that it's all lined up. And then we can go ahead and get things fastened. So hang on. Nice. Oh, that's going to look so pretty. All right. So 
So I'm going to get a square, go around the edges just to make sure that I got the right distance all around it. And then uh, I think we can get this thing fastened on. Yeah. It's going to look really nice. I'll give you a shot of that. So I think it's looking really good. This thing's going to fit in there real nice. Got good distance around it. My little brackets stick out about 16th of an inch here, but I don't know if I got it lined up just right. So that might uh, be fine. Front looks good. Yep. I think we're really close. And then once I get this attached, we'll uh, fit everything. And then I've got some brackets here that I'm going to put for the extension on the table. And... Uh, Hopefully that's not too big, but we won't know until we try it out. All right, let's get this thing lined up and fastened down. Good deal. Got it. All right, so we've got everything attached now. So I've got the brackets here, brackets here. I've got two brackets here in the back, two brackets here on the front, bracket here on the front, and a bracket here. And it is pretty doggone solid. Now I think what I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and drop the sink in. Drop the stove in, take a look at it, because I'm not sure about the uh, this uh, overhang here, how far out it's going to make the stove stick out, if any. And uh, we'll worry about that once we get it in there. I know the sink is going to fit, so we'll just set that in there out of the way. But, hey, it's starting to look like something. deal almost got a kitchen here okay let me go grab the sink and then uh, we'll drop that in and then we'll worry about the stove uh, trying to get that in here in one piece and just set it in there out of out of the garage cool it's looking great all right now the fun part let's see if I can get the stove in here and what that's gonna look like all right Man, that fits, fits perfect. Oh yeah. I'm liking that. So that looks good. Let me give you a shot. Let me pull the plastic out of here and uh, we'll get all that cleaned up and then we'll take a look at it. All right, there it is. And I think it looks fantastic. Oops. Let 
Yep, make me some chops. All right, and it sits nice and flush along this edge. Only comes out a little bit here, which uh, I don't know if that's normal or not, but it looks good either way. Both sides are nice and flush. Everything looks good. Yeah, the only thing I don't like is when you raise the top here and tilt it back. These little rubber stoppers don't let it uh, go all the way back. It wants to fall forward. So if I take these out and then I go back, then I'm able to rest that on here. So I might have to put some sort of stop here on the back to rest that on or take these and bevel that back. I'll probably try that first just to see what it looks like and if it would work. If not, then we'll do a plan B and just put a couple little stops here on the back, make it look nice and uh, that way this thing locks in place. Yeah, because uh, you don't want to leave that hanging on the hinges. I think it looks good just like that. All right. And the sink dropped in really nice. And I've got plenty of room, so probably about here in the center, I will uh, put the hole for the faucet. And that gives me plenty of space underneath that I can work with. Oh yeah. Perfect. Yeah. That's looking really good. All right, so there's two items left to do before I can fasten the galley to the van. One is the sliding door. I need to take that panel off and uh, make a, a new panel for it, get it all nice and carpeted, and I also have to do the threshold. So I went ahead and removed the side panel uh, from that door, and they're just held on by these little clips that just pop out, little push clips, and uh, you stick that in a hole, push that in, and it locks it in place. So, removed all of those, took that panel off, laid it on my plywood, traced it out, marked where all the holes are, cut it out, and uh, because this is quarter inch plywood, it was pretty easy to cut with a uh, razor knife, just score it and uh, within about five or six passes you're cut through. So, and I cleaned up all the corners so it's nice and round, all the edges are sanded and smooth, and it's ready to be carpeted except I have to drill the holes now, and I'm not going to drill all the holes that were there for this little skinny panel. We're only going to use some of the holes, but I'm going to use our little Our little plus nut tool, our, ri our rivet gun here, and uh, we'll install the rivet nuts. And this is a quarter twenty, so I'll be uh, installing this carpeted panel onto the van door with quarter twenty uh, bolts, probably a pan head Phillips, and uh, make it a nice clean install. The only hold up is uh, I don't have the right size drill bit for the wood. I don't want to drill an exact quarter inch hole in case the holes are just misaligned ever so slightly. And I don't want to take them, make them too large because then when I go to fasten them, the uh, bolt head will go right through the, the panel. So, and I don't want to put a washer on it because I think that might, might look a little tacky. It's not what I'm looking for. So, I have to make a store run. Uh, tomorrow, looking for a 5 16 Forstner bit, so that will do the trick. Give me a nice clean cut. I don't want to use a drill bit because that just splinters all the plywood, and I don't want to have to. It just looks ugly, you know. So we'll do it nice and clean. We'll get the holes drilled, and then we'll go ahead and install the carpet on there. Then inside the van on the door, the holes that accept these 
are just a little bit too small to accept those. So I'm going to use one of these so I can install one of those so I can put this with something like that and call it done. So anyway, so on the door we're going to use a step bit, go ahead and drill out those holes, be able to uh, put our little rib nuts in there, use our plus nut gun and uh, get those fastened on, and uh, pick up a handful of, of uh, fasteners that we can use for this, get this carpeted, and we'll get that installed. The next one would be the threshold, uh, as you open the door right there, hide the, uh, hide the front of the flooring, and I got to get that piece and get it trimmed to fit around the cabinet. I don't want the cabinet to sit on it because then it would raise it up on one side and there will be a little bit of a, a gap on the bottom. So we're going to trim that to fit around that galley and once, those, once these two items are done then we can slide the galley in place, install our brackets and attach it to the floor and then that part will almost be done. We can finish out putting in the uh, sink, we'll get the faucet in, and we'll fasten the uh, stove oven combo in, and that will pretty much tidy up the galley. Then what's left is uh, pretty much some plumbing and some electrical. You're going to like the electrical. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, I foresee a lot of runs to the hardware store when it comes to all these little fittings and parts and terminals and all that. You know you've been to the store too many times when you walk in and you're on a first name basis with everyone. So, uh, yeah. Alright, holes are in. Now it's time to glue it up. All right, so our panel is now carpeted, and we do have our holes uh, pre-drilled and cut out. And I've decided that I'm not going to use the rivet gun, and I made a little test piece here. And then I used this pin, and I stuck in here, and lo and behold, it fits the door just fine. So I am going to repurpose all these little pins. We'll put that on the uh, door itself, install the pins, push those in place, and this panel will be installed and done. So that's where we're at, and we are going to go ahead and put that on the door. All right, so now we're getting ready to put this in, and a little tight quarters here. So I'm just going to take my little push pins, start a little corner here I think well maybe not the corner <laughs> all right There's one and a whole bunch more to go. Yeah, I think that's going to work. And it looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, push the rest of these in. I'll give you a shot of what it looks like after it's installed. And uh, then we can work on the threshold. So, give me a minute. All right, so there we are. We do have it installed. Unfortunately, I have two holes that, uh, one, I broke one of the little fasteners, and I lost another one. I don't know where it went. I didn't hear it hit the floor, didn't pop out. I just don't have it. So, I'll probably look in the garage and see if I can't find it but uh, two holes which will never be seen it will be 
behind the galley and door open and close you'll never see that so I'm not overly concerned with it although I would like to find those two pieces but everything else is on and it was a little bit of a chore to push those in get them locked in so boy I sure hope they don't pop out that'd be sad all right we have that in